Alright, so, welcome back. We are playing Sonic Forces, and uh, I'm not quite sure what I just did here. Uh, backspace, escape. No, escape doesn't work. Uh, let's go back. Uh, why is it showing me all these missions? I don't know. Oh, press Y. Excellent. Okay, let's go to the Death Egg. Prison Hall. So this looks like we're going to be freeing Sonic, perhaps? So... All of that setup that we just experienced in the introduction and meant to be the entire premise of the game. I mean, it's cool that we get to save Sonic and all, but... Okay, so I can't dash, apparently. And that's automatic whenever she does the, uh... The... You know, the whole reaching out thing. The music is still, like, always, forever and always an absolute banger. Yep, figured that was going to happen. But yeah, if we do end up, like, rescuing Sonic very quickly, then that just undermines most of the point of the uh, original... Most of the starting introductions of the game. That's kind of redundant, starting introduction, the introduction's always starting, so... Oh well. Okay, so I do know, I do recall that as a bird we, uh, we can, uh, double jump. Well, they don't, oh, they have you pinned down, not me? Okay, well. You know, why don't you just have one of these awesome flamethrower weapons that, you know, you gave me? It's gonna take me a while to get out of the habit of, uh, auto-homing, or auto-attacking, and oh, man, I missed it. Silver. I've never, I've never played 06, thankfully. Um, and I know Silver's made a couple of appearances. I know he's a big fan favorite of some kind. I'm gonna turn the in-game volume down a bit. That should be better. Hopefully, you guys can hear me over the the background noise. I know I can barely hear myself, but that uh, that's part of the course for me. The uh. I've never played uh, 06, fortunately, <laughs> however, I know he also appeared in, uh, uh, Silver also appeared in Rivals, and Rivals 2. And he also made an appearance in Generation as a cameo character, oh no, he made an appearance there as a boss character, actually, which was pretty cool. Oh, and we're already done with the stage. I mean, 2 minutes, 22 seconds, that's uh, not that bad, I guess. What, what rank did we get? We got rank A. We gained another medal. Earned a mission. <laughs> we get a, a football hat. A rugby, a rugby helmet. New aviators. No, they're not aviators, they're just like glasses. New gloves, new shoes. And whatever that green latex thing is. Oh my god. Alright, let's see what the next cutscene has in store for us. Versus Zavok. So we're already fighting one of the major enemies. Okay. This is the end, Sonic. Oh hey, sounds like the party started. Wanna let me go and join in? No? Of course not. You try something now that I'm free. Foolish hedgehog. Getting out of your chains does not make you free. Now, come and face the inevitable. Ha! The only thing inevitable here is my foot kicking your butt. So, do we get to play as Sonic here? Oh my god, that looks kind of frightening. Oh yeah, there's the boost meter in the bottom. I can't wait to see how long you last against this. Come out and fight me yourself and I'll mob you up real quick. Impudent right. I'm going to save her watching you suffer. Did Sonic's voice actor change between here and generation? I think it might have. Alright, so 
as I mentioned uh, previously, uh, when I said, uh, remember that uh, Sonic has been captured and being tortured for months? Does this look like a Sonic that's been captured and being tortured for months to you? No, this looked like regular old Sonic. It looked like the torture just not done anything to him. Which, you know, it would be cool if, like, we knew that Sonic had some sort of, uh, <laughs> some sort of emotional or, uh, mental disability of some kind, but, uh, he's never been portrayed with that. He's always been portrayed with the hero. I reckon it would have been a good chance for, uh, oh my god. It would have been a good chance for a good story beat element where you catch a Sonic but he's you know too out of it in order to do anything to help and then you need to I don't know spend a good portion of the story you know cheering him up essentially oh my god cheering him up I think that would have been pretty cool oh my god how do you dodge that You're completely out of rings whoa So Zavok here, I believe he's from Sonic Colors. Targeting is also a little bit awkward as well, to be honest. Oh man, did I jump at the exact wrong time? Oh, rings! Thank you very much, Zavok. I turn when when I jump. I turn towards the uh, the enemy in midair, but apparently it doesn't seem to to lock on. When I turn in midair, I have to be facing them when I'm on the ground. All right, that's uh. How could I lose to the likes of you again? That's actually kind of hilarious. Bring some chili dogs next time. Oh my god! Look at all the people trapped in the cages. <laughs> Uh, what's that? Sex Tuple Trouble? That's uh, referencing the six enemies in colors, I believe. But yeah, apparently we've already just destroyed. Ooh, that looks pretty sweet. Did we just literally destroy one of the big bads that were introduced to us not half an hour ago? I mean, that's uh. Oh, cool, we get a nice purple ribbon. No more rewards? Alright, great, let's continue with the game. It's that sound again. Whoa, it's not time for thinking, it's time for running. Oh, are those bad guys summoned by the, the same gem that bought uh classic Sonic here? Alright, stage 6. Oh yeah, you can kind of tell who's in what mission. Because my character must be the the, the, the A, and uh, the Amber in the A in stage 4. I can't quite... Yeah, there we go. Uh, what, what is that? I believe that... Yeah, that's classic Sonic. That's my avatar. That's modern Sonic. Alright, cool. So let's go and do modern Sonic Egg Gate. So yeah, we've already, you know, freed Sonic. After uh, not even half an hour of gameplay. One thing I've always found funny about uh, Sonic and like all of the... I, I want to call them Mobians because in the original comics they're from the planet Mobius. Uh, that they can breathe in space for some bizarre reason. It's never explained why. It's just uh, taken as a uh, as a uh, a thing. They can breathe in space apparently, but yet they can't breathe underwater. I'm not saying that as a criticism. I'm just saying it's uh, uh, an interesting observation. I know as a uh, storytelling trope. Uh, Certain things like this are fine, uh, as long as you're consistent with it. And Sonic's always consi 
consistently been able to breathe do well in, in space. You're gonna repay Eggman for putting you in this jam. He tortured you for, you know, months. <laughs> months on end. Oh, I ran out of boost? That's a shame. Yeah, and picking up rings doesn't recharge your boost, which is kind of annoying. Oh, man. I do want to one day get a, another good uh, Sonic game. <laughs> I know everyone just wants another good Sonic game, but uh, nobody's quite certain what the Sonic game formula is. The whole boost, uh, the whole boost generation is pretty good. And I'd say I really like the boost mechanics. Or at least the old boost mechanics. I'm not too much a fan of this boost mechanic. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> Are we... What the heck? What is going on here? Good. Okay. This is like some Star Wars <laughs> reference. You can tell I'm not very good at my Star Wars knowledge. In fact, I've not even ever watched a full-on Star Wars video. Video? Movie. Oh my god, did I really just say a Star Wars video? Wow, I'm... I'm probably more out of it than I would expect. But uh, just strike that I ever said Star Wars video from your memory, please. I say that, hey, and then I'm going to go ahead and upload this on the internet. We get an okay looking shirt. Uh, we get some nice girlish gloves. And some pretty decent neon... <laughs> like, uh, neon shoes, I guess. Ugh, that looks horrible. Ah. Uh. cool are you here to rescue me mm -hmm. can't tell you how much i appreciate it it's been a while since i've seen a friendly face hey rookie you still in one piece oh sure don't even bother to ask how i am Dominic. amy I'm so glad. Hello, baby. is there an exit around here your concern is touching knuckles <laughs> all right so we get to do a um, a Sonic and Avatar uh, stage. Maybe. Oh, did you see that? That that ship just literally disappeared. <laughs> it didn't even just like jet off. It just disappeared. Sonic, finding you alive is the best news we've had in months. And here's the bad news: our intel indicates Eggman's got a weapons factory in Green Hill, pumping out munitions for his war effort. A factory? We can't take out Eggman's home base in Metropolis if he's got a factory supplying him. Why not? No kidding. Look, Sonic, I know you just got back, but we're spread thin. Can you take care of this? We need that factory in Green Hill destroyed. Take the rookie with you. You sure about this? The kid was shaking like a leaf the whole time we were at the death end. Oh, come on. That's because it's cold in space. The factory is nice and warm. It will be when it's burnt to the ground. Sonic, you take the lead. Rookie, just make sure you take good notes. I got six months of payback I'm just dying to spend. Six that months? Sounds like a good start. I thought it was less than that. Oh yeah, take a look at that. That, uh, that bow. Let's go and take a look at our avatar. Oh, we can now equip them with a new whisper. Alright, so this. Attack with fire, press and hold the button to continue spouting flames and Y triggers an explosion that shoots you into the air repeats to fly even higher we have lightning attack with a whip of lightning uh, yeah right trigger same buttons move at lightning fast speeds near rings near rings or enemies Ooh, this looks good got an achievement hooked in whispers I'm gonna try out this whisper 
And let's take a look at our, uh, our new headgear. We can be uh, a total Chad with this backwards facing cap. We can be uh, a total Brock with our uh, football helmet. We can just, you know, go ahead and remove our hat. We can be a, what, what is that, a bandit with our headband. I'm going to go ahead and remove that for now. Uh, what do the glasses look like? Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Oh no. I don't like having any glasses on. Those gloves look... Uh, they look like they can go with something. These ones, not so much. I'll go with that. Let's, uh, we're definitely gonna have to change the rest of our attire. Let's put on these new shoes. I think these shoes actually look a lot better. Now that I take a closer look at them. I mean... Okay, so here's, here's the question. Why would I put a shirt on? When every other character in the game had no shirt or bodysuit. Oh my god. Oh my god. This covers the whole body? What? Oh, what the heck? That looks horrible. Why would anyone ever pick that? You know what? I'm actually going to pick this. I think this one actually looks decent. We can change beat color, eye color, victory pose. Alright, let's take a look at the body again. Let's go ahead and put on a bow tie, sure. And footwear. Nah, I don't need any of these. There we go, I think that's going to be our new look for now. Daily mission complete, change your gloves. Daily mission bonus active. Change... Oh, okay, that's another one complete. Cool. I'm going to save this outfit. Uh, save. There we go. We've got another achievement. Running in style. Alright, so that's done. Uh, let's take a look at some of our missions, shall we? Clear stage 7, clear stage 5, clear stage 1 with an S rank. I want to see if I can do a complete uh, stage in X amount of time 1. So what's that? Stage 5 within 135 seconds, stage 6 within 120 seconds. So what is stage 5 and stage 6? Okay, those are Sonic stages. Hmm. I kind of want to do one with, uh, with the Avatar. Alright, so we have Arsenal Pyramid, and now remember we also change our Whisper now. So we're already partners with Sonic the Hedgehog. That's cool. What? What the heck? That came out of nowhere. Oh my god. I'm, I'm actually getting kind of like shivers down my spine. That was actually pretty cool. Oh, don't forget to pick up the red ring. Excellent. Ow, okay. <laughs> Try not to hit any of the red lines. Press Y near rings of enemies to move at lightning fast speed. Oh my god, this is- oh wow. Okay, so Sonic has a vendetta against uh, Eggman now, of course. Like he's never had a vendetta. Oh, of course, I need to... Oh, cool, you get a, a lightning whip. The movement is a bit janky, but... It looks... At least it's workable. Oh, okay, so I can do it without moving if I don't hold a direction while I attack with it. That's better, at least. Oh, God. <laughs> Try again, really? Is that easy to fall off? I mean, that's part of the course with Sonic games, to be honest. Oh cool, we charged up our lightning. <laughs> oh 
Oh man. I like this Wispin. This Wispin's real good. It might I might just be saying that because the stage might be more designed with this specific Wispin in mind. I don't remember seeing any long lines of uh of rings elsewhere. Well they're saying that, I might just be saying that because uh I wasn't keeping an eye out for them before. Alright, cool. So we finished that in 2 minutes 25 seconds. That one was a good stage. I like that stage. Ooh, S rank. Excellent. Ooh, we gained a new medal. Got a mission complete. We get uh, some more clothing. What are, are those sandals? Oh, that looked like a Splatoon thing. Oh, and we cleared stage 7 with an S rank. We get... Is that a powered up version of the Wispin? What are that? That's a ring and a hundred ring bonus. So does that mean that when we get a hundred rings we get a power up? Reward for completing this mission. A very edgy looking belt. Uh... <laughs> oh man. I don't like that gold. That gold looks hideous. is attacking inside the mystic jungle silver is fighting him or it or whatever just hurry guys it's him i'm looking forward to a second round with this guy all right so what are this this is not even an hour in I, and we're already on stage eight i feel like we're, the game might be very short i don't know how many stages there are but i'm a little worried that it's quite short eggman's forces are scattering bombs like confetti This one looks like a more traditional Sonic level. I think I can get into this one. Oh man. Does Sonic not have the, the light dash? Where he can follow a trail of rings? Oh man. Yeah, the, this whole this new like double jump mechanic, I'm not too much of a fan of, at least not right now. It might get better when I get more used to it, but, uh, oh man. I need to collect this red ring, of course. Oh man, this is going... <laughs> that was going way too fast. Speed? Speed is good in the Sonic game. Uh, it kind of, this whole new boost, wow, this whole new boost generation of Sonic, even though it's not new, it's been out since, uh, since, I think it was first in Unleash, maybe? Oh, wow. How many lives do I have? I don't have any lives, apparently. I hope that doesn't mean I have zero lives, I hope it means I have infinite number of lives. But, uh, anyway, the, this, uh, boost generation... I like the boost generation, quite a lot. Uh, each game kind of has like a little bit of a different mechanic with it. And I'm very much used to uh, Sonic with... Uh, wow. I'm very much used to Sonic from uh, Unleashed and then to a lesser extent Generation. So this having this double jump is uh, a little bit odd in my opinion. I feel like I have to keep matching the uh, the L2 RV button. L2 R2? No, that's not even the right controller that I'm using. The L1 R1? I don't know what that little neck of controller off the top of my head. The LB RB? Oh wow, I thought I nearly missed the... <laughs> he missed the rail there. Oh my god, what the heck? Alright, so that is a QTE then? Yep, that's true.
Is that really all it took to kill that thing? Wow. I was expecting a nice epic boss battle. But we just got treated to a glorious uh, quick time event scene. Oh, alright. Uh, some of you might also be thinking that my uh, commentary uh, is quite negative. It's not actually. I'm uh, Well, it's not meant to indicate that I'm being negative about it. It's, uh, oh, that looks so edgy. It's more meant, ooh, matching, uh, matching gloves for those horrible shoes. And a pretty cool, uh, chest piece. I'll check that out on my avatar. But my commentary is meant to be more, uh, more, more for the sake of, uh, entertainment more than uh, anything critical. Uh, it might sound that I'm being very critical of the game. Uh, which, you know, I kind of am. But I'm doing it for the enjoyment purposes of it. I am having a, a good time. Uh, learning about the game, at least. Uh, versus Infinite. Oh cool, we get to go meet Infinite. Firstly, I want to check out my, uh, my new avatar stuff. Uh, we got a Wispin. What is this? Award just rings for defeating enemies. Award bonus points for collecting 100 rings. It's the exact same thing, but it's just better. Now why would I ever use that one? Oh well. Let's go to the fitting room, up ahead here. Oh, look at that. She's a gamer, not really. Uh, lower headgear. Yep, that looks very edgy. Gloves. I think I'm gonna stick with these for now. Although these gloves, I kind of like the blue. Let's see if I can find matching footwear that has blue in them. The only ones I can see is this. But I'm not really digging it. I feel another sneeze coming on. Hold on. Alright. I can't quite uh, mute my microphone anymore, so I have to unplug it and plug it back in. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with these shoes for now, at least. What I really want to see is... Uh, Okay, that, that's uh, interesting. That's uh, also interesting. Kind of, I almost want to say this kind of gives gives my character like a, almost almost a special agent type feel, but uh, not quite. Also, you can't mix and match, which is unfortunate. All right, let's take a look at this. So that turns us into some sort of metal knight, and that one, not not digging that to be honest with you. I'm just going to stick with this. Alright, cool. We've upgraded our weapon. We've changed our shoes and our boots. Our shoes and our gloves, sorry. Alright, so we want to go to Versus Infinite. Uh, episode might be getting a bit long. Uh, you know what, yeah, I'll actually end the episode here and I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one. So, have you enjoyed? I know I have. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.